Hi, this is Eric Da from OmniFit, and today I have a special guest. And this guest is talking today about ears, and not ears specifically, but um, how ears are so important to health and health, particularly for seniors. So I have Dr. Sylvia here today, and I, I would love to hear from her and talking about ear health. So Dr. Sylvia, thank you so much, and please just you know, introduce yourself. Uh, yes, hello, and uh, thank you so much for the invitation. My name is Sylvia Colasa, and I'm a researcher who has an experience in the treatment of people with hearing and balance disorders in all ages as a, an audiologist and physiotherapist. I earned three master degrees in physiotherapy, audiology, and public health, Currently, I'm working on a research project, which is about hearing loss balance and mobility in older adults, associations and interventions in Western Norway, University of Applied Sciences in Bergen. And the research project focuses on the association between hearing loss balance and mobility in older adults, impact on hearing aid of change balance performance and whether there is a balanced training program for older adults with uh, hearing loss uh, feasible. Mm. Well, I tell you, that is a lot that you're working on. And I, yeah. <laughs> that's a lot. And I would love to say, and the reason why I wanted to reach out to you is for the same reason what you talked about, that connection between um, hearing balance and particularly for older adults. But before we even get to that, because I know that's something that I want to touch on, can you tell mm -hmm. me, for people that um, maybe not sure, because I know there's a lot of seniors who still don't see audiologists, what is the mm -hmm. importance for somebody, whether it be a senior or particularly seniors, but why would somebody, one, need to see an audiologist, and why is hearing so important to health? So, uh, audiologist is a licensed uh, hearing healthcare professional, more like a hearing doctor, uh, specializes in diagnosis and treatment of hearing loss and balance disorders in children and adults, uh, supervises hearing and speech rehabilitation programs, fits uh, hearing aids, uh, recommends for cochlear implant or any other implant uh, surgery which um, may enable a person to hear better. Mm -hmm. And audiologists do such an, an amazing work in making life so beautiful. Mm -hmm. We help a person manage hearing and balance disorders to the maximum uh, extent uh, yeah, extent. We, we help improve quality of lives of people who have a lost um, their hearing or are suffering from any such disorders yeah, yeah. so um yes and and um consider all the sounds that surround you every single day for example a child child laughing a bird singing a friend chatting or a great song on the radio it's this symphony of sounds that makes life richer and hearing empowers us helps us lead our everyday lives without limitations. It um, and I, um, and I, um, um, it allows us, us to uh, socialize, to work, to communicate. It also helps us to stay connected to the uh, outside world and it keeps us safe by worrying us of potential danger. Oh, you know, that, that's a great answer because you're right. Um, when we don't have the right hearing and then the balance is off, we don't realize how much that can put us in a position, you're saying, of danger, mm -hmm. whether it be falling over or anything bad happening to us. Like, for example, let's be honest. Um, if something bad is going to happen, I need to have the awareness of my surroundings, I'm assuming you're saying, to know where that threat of danger or that potential risk of falling may be coming from. I'm assuming that's what you're, you're trying to get to. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. What I'd love to know, and this is why I want to speak to a professional like yourself, Dr. Sylvia, is, you know, we, you mentioned in regards to, you know, hearing and balance. 
And I'm, I'm sure you've seen t- a ton of people that have come into you that have not been to have the greatest balance and have had mm-hmm. serious issues with their ears or inner ears. Well, I want to ask you, have you seen like um, improvements that people have made in their balance and coordination after seeing an audiologist or going through the process and techniques that you teach? Um, yes, uh, so um, approximately one in three people between the ages uh, of 65 and 74 has hearing loss. Mm. And nearly half of those older than 75 has difficulty hearing. And yes, people with hearing loss have poor balance. Uh, their walking speed has been reduced. They sway um, more while standing still when not wearing uh, hearing aids. And sound has a large role in our special sense. Yeah. While we are uh, processing sound, we are shifting our attention, our ability to hear and determine the direction of sounds, help us gauge our Um, on body and straining our attention to balance and coordination and hearing aids help bring back a a, a broad range of sound making it easier to pick up on the cues we use to maintain our body's balance and hearing aids also make understanding easier each uh, relaxes the, the stress Yes. Well, and, and you just basically touched on um, the answer, by the way, I think hearing aids is a great answer. And I think I've heard it before from somebody else, but you, again, touched on that same answer. Um, would you say, based on the answer you just gave about hearing aids in particular, would you say that's the best way that people, best way or only way that people should look into improving their balance and coordination through their ears? Or is it, because I know hearing aids is, would you say that's the best way? In, um yes yes i think it's it's the best way yes yeah totally okay yes. and i mean finally i just want to ask one more question is there mm-hmm. other practical tips that seniors can do and i know one probably is to see an audiologist probably on a regular basis yes. and that's, that goes without saying because i think it's, <laughs> it's shocking I, i'll be honest with you i've spoken to a lot of people and then i the question i always ask them is have one have you got your eyes tested but another one mm-hmm. is how do you get your ears tested um mm-hmm. and i think that's one of the regular are there any other practical tips to improve balance because i know you're 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 an audiologist but you mean you do other you do other things are there any other tips that you know from any of your professional experience that seniors can do to improve their balance um yes uh, i have four tips Uh, So number one, avoid loud noises. Number two, obviously have ears checked regularly. And number three, clean the ears properly. You should never uh, place cotton swabs inside of the ear and eat healthy and stay active. Physical activity reduce the risk of diabetes, cardiovascular diseases, and high blood pressure that may have an impact on hearing loss and balance. Mm. Those are awesome, awesome answers. And I think you nailed all of it. Um, So I want to say thank you so much. Um, For people that want to follow more information about you, how do they go about your work, finding more information about your work and about you, uh, Dr. Sylvia? So if you want to um, visit my website, sylviacolasa.com and just send uh, me an email. Yeah. I want to say thank you so much. Your information was greatly appreciated. And um, I, not even just for them, but I personally will continue to follow you, your work and everything you do. Thank you so much for this. Thank you. 